What's going on guys? My name's Eclipse and today we will be using the first ever created deck in Clash Royale. So if you head on over to Clash Royale's YouTube channel, in that video this is the deck that they are using. Now quite some time has passed since that video went live. So is this deck gonna be good? I have no clue. So we're just gonna be giving that a shot. Now I think we may be playing two versus twos just because having a partner may make life a whole lot easier. Here. Now real quickly, I do have these two magical chests, so let's get these open up right here. Um, I might as well take some screenshots just for some clickbait. You guys know how it is around here, but let's see if we can get anything good. I'm pretty sure the odds of getting a legendary is like 20%, and the odds of getting a legendary from both of the chests combined, I think is like 1%. So there's a very low rate that I will be getting a legendary from this one. But let's cross our fingers, and if I get a mirror, or clone spells i'm just gonna end the video here Woo! that is what i'm talking about thank you supercell gods okay let's hop into a battle and something that's off topic but peep the shirt today repping that eclipse merch and the inside is like a really weird material weird in a good way like this shirt is probably the nicest quality shirt I've ever had from my own merch. It's kind of hard to explain. Like my one mil t-shirt and my other t-shirts I own, those are all just like basic cotton t-shirts. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying it's like a cotton t-shirt. This right here, it feels so different in a good way and I just can't really describe it. But uh, yeah, if you like this shirt, would totally recommend you buy it because uh, yeah, you're helping me out and you got yourself some sick clothes. What more can you ask for? Now, I am still doing a giveaway, so if you haven't entered that, be sure to do so. The link to that will be in the description as well. Now, right here, we're honestly getting our asses kicked. Like, we're taking a lot of firepower. There was a giant, a miner, we had a graveyard. There was a lot going on over there. Now, I'm not going to blame my teammate for us taking some damage. A lot of that surely was on my end as well. That tornado was awful, so I'm going to say this thanks right there if we're not cocky we're not having fun now i am going to put a musketeer down because i don't want to take any damage from that bomb tower and let's also put a giant down as well we have elite barbs um my teammate does have an ice golem. i really hope he doesn't put anything down i feel like we should be saving some elixir and the fact that they have a pekka is not good because the pekka can pretty much shut out like any card in the game um now at this point let's just put some archers down in the very back i am gonna put some goblins down right there um unfortunately this is not looking good for us where did my archers go what i had archers and goblins there and they both just disappeared this battle's a mess as of now i'm crossing my fingers though we can still come back there's a minute left in this battle so please do not put a hog rider down in the very back i swear oh my god okay um let's get a fireball ready i'm gonna fireball to double fireball action look at that boom and that was honestly a fail did his fireball miss that bomber because i felt like mine was the one that killed it unfortunately though i was just sitting at 10 elixir that's one thing i do a lot when i record is that i'll just like chill at 10 elixir and i won't even realize it now there is going to be a graveyard coming in any second now so let's get ready for that um skeleton army on the executioner oh my god i was hoping the executioner wouldn't turn around but at least we're somewhat defending this like we didn't take that much damage as of now if my teammate had like a lot or arrows I feel like that would be pretty helpful and this poor guy's P.E.K.K.A. is just running around in like a big circle I'm not sure if anyone was noticing that I might have put text on the screen so you could have looked at it easier but his P.E.K.K.A. was just going in like a merry-go-round and right there we lost one tower easily but we did defend the other and unfortunately we couldn't get any of theirs <laughs> That was a fail. And we are in another battle. Okay, if this video gets 10,000 likes in 24 hours, I'll record my entire next video with that voice. I'll probably lose my voice and my entire house will hate me, but that's a wager I'm willing to put up. Now right there, oh no, log, get out of here. Yes, we countered that so well. 
That is what I like to see. So we are on a pretty good start. Unfortunately, though, they do have a golem. Um, oh, I could have fireballed some of those probably. We're just going to take it slow, though. Let's get some archers right there. He does have bats, and I have that mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. So this golem should get shut out rather easily. Um, unfortunately, there is that minion. He tried to zap it, could not take it out. But screw this guy's golem. Am I right? Just look at that. His golem got absolutely shredded. We have three musketeers inbound, four musketeers on the field right now oh my god just look at all the musketeers go this is awesome this is a battle i am excited to see how it finishes let's get a knight down right there unfortunately though there's a minion horde oh my teammate has an ice golem please get that down oh wait we do have a minion horde we have to deal with, but screw that. We have a massive push on that left side. Um, Our tower got put pretty low, but who cares? Like I said, we had an absolute amazing push. Now, does my teammate have three musketeers ready? No. He does have an elixir pump, though, so he's going to pump up, get ready for more three musketeers, and I'm hoping we can do an absolutely amazing push on that right tower. Since he's still saving for his three musketeers, though, I am going to put the giant about right there that way when he puts his three musks down they will be like in the perfect path now next up what do we want to do i don't quite know what route i want to go down um let's put a mini pekka down right there on top of that golem and now let's get another musketeer right there we have so many musketeers right now this deck is actually pretty damn crazy what the hell is going on like this is going to be a clickbait thumbnail without the thumbnail even being clickbait like this just looks so damn awesome hopefully you guys like are as excited as oh shit. okay he just wrecked me with that log but um oh no we lost the tower okay don't tweak though my teammate does have three musketeers ready he's gonna be putting those down so i'm gonna get a giant down right there so we have the giant with the one and now i'm gonna put a musketeer of my own on that right side so there's ghetto three musketeers and i'm also gonna wait i'm gonna put a knight down on that actually no we're gonna put a mini Packing down on the back right there that should oh no i was too late also they did kind of have a lightning spell but the mini pekka is pushing up so that golem is shredded unfortunately though we were not able to get a good push off on that right side on the left though we have oh crap fireball 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 get that minion horde out of here please yes okay so far so good how are we gonna stop all of this though it is a three crown race at this point i don't even care spam all of your troops in we can win now we're we're gonna lose. <gasps> <laughs> oh, we lost. Oh man, that was a close one. Okay, one more battle with this deck. Will we win? Will we lose? This is gonna be the moment of truth. Do you guys ever just spectate your friend's battle and vote for the enemy just to make them feel bad? Or am I the only one doing this? Also, one thing I didn't mention, in that last battle, my teammate was actually someone on my friends list. So I was hoping we would have some good chemistry and I was hoping we'd be able to win, but that was not the case. Now this guy does have a furnace and the furnace is one of those cards that just pisses me off so much. We can't get a good fireball down right there though. Boom, get out of here. If I would have waited, I may have been able to get the... Oh, wait, yes, my teammate has a fireball too. I was saying, though, if I would have waited, I might have been able to get um the Ice Wizard with that fireball. But luckily, my teammate came in clutch there. Um, As far as this goes... Oh, wait, we have Fire Spirits to take care of that minion horde. This guy screwed up so much, and now we have a pretty big push. Unfortunately, though, they did have a log, but the Mega Minion is tanking away. We just got a little bit of a push right there. My teammate had such a clutch log um at this point i am gonna put a skeleton army down right there that should nearly shut it out okay we took some damage not too bad though like so far i'd say we're at a pretty good start now that furnace placement should have been one tile to the left but since all their troops are in this half i don't really think it matters too much if you want to fireball those troops out right there that would be amazing teammate and at this point i'm gonna put a musketeer down now let's save up for a fireball i have a feeling there may be a minion horde sometime soon you know what we're gonna fireball out that executioner unfortunately though there are some elite barbarians with the furnace and that mini pekka though i'm really not too concerned about those at 
Oh god, I just had a little bit of a burp right there. We're good though. We're we're all good. Musketeer is down in the back. I may put a giant in front of that royal giant. Okay, okay. Um, what I am gonna do though is let's put a mini pack down right there. Put a knight down with some archers. Hopefully this works. Please stop those minions. Okay, okay. Um, we did just definitely take. Oh my teammate has a royal giant. Oh my god, that is what I call one clutch play we're gonna have a fireball ready for whatever this guy has let's wait can we get both those yes we can get all of that out of there boom oh i missed the valkyrie okay i couldn't get both of them apparently that was a bit of a fail but why does everyone have a royal giant both players have royal giants furnaces like we have it all right now let me just tell you that take care of that executioner get a knight down this bowler is about to get some crazy value Holy crap, but luckily for us, we can't take care of that royal giant. I have a fireball ready just in case they do put a minion whore down. And we have so many things down right here. I am going to get that fireball down. Now let's put a giant down as well. Just spam everything right now. That's pretty much like the main goal. We're locked onto that furnace. I'm going to put some archers down for that ice wizard. Um, Oh, crap. Oh, God. I log, I log all that out. Good call. Good call. Um, Let's put another musketeer down. Screw this guy's ice wizard. We're we're just gonna keep on applying some pressure hopefully we can get some damage off unfortunately oh i just sent a skeleton army in on the executioner crap but you know what we are gonna win double fireballs down that is what i like to see so we did three battles today lost two of them won one of them and my overall opinion on this deck okay i'm gonna be a little bit generous today if i didn't have this skeleton army and let's say i had like another spell i feel like this this deck can be pretty good but the fact that I only have one spell definitely does make it a little bit tough so uh, yeah maybe swap out the skeleton army for something else and I feel like this deck may actually have some potential but guys this has been Eclipse hopefully you enjoyed this little random video and peace out